another video and it's the gecko girl and today we're in the garage the gecko garage and uh you can see the, the random cameraman is pouring down some uh lump charcoal what are we going to be doing today well what we're going to be doing today is making lump charcoal so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this for the um the mystery pet tank which is either going to be our a day gecko or a crusty gecko but uh we're going to be making a bottom of the tank but today i'm just going to show you guys how to make lump charcoal so just first uh you can use a shirt of really anybody's uh you can use a shirt that you had a long time ago and you can just destroy it right here right now you put the charcoal on it and you just put it over and uh you can have fun destroying it. Now you just need some lump charcoal. And uh, you can just put them in here and you can do this. Now this stuff will keep the gnats away in your tank. All the nasty bugs that like to fly into your tank. And it will also, and it also helps keep it clean. So it's a win-win for you and for you. So, and it's very cheap and it's very easy. I feel like the camera's just gonna go flying up and bang the camera. Okay guys, so we're gonna try and we're gonna go ahead and whack this thing. So, ready? Ow. Oh no, your finger. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry guys, we're joking. He did not get hurt at all. He's perfectly fine. <laughs> I think I might have got you guys there. If you got uh, tricked by that, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. You have to now. Anyway, okay guys, so we're just gonna finish this up and uh, we're gonna dump this in the bucket. Okay guys, so we're almost done. Uh, the cameraman, the random cameraman has just been kind of finishing up the work so far. And uh, we're gonna just continue to keep doing this until we get it to about where it's. So you kind of want it to be like this almost, like this gravel, but you just want it to be a bit smaller. And that should be about it. So we'll get you there once that happens. So, so far he is, uh, we're almost done. We have uh, pretty much almost gotten it completely the way that it should be looking. And uh, once when we do that, I'll get you back and we will be putting it into the blue bucket we're doing right now. And now we're just going to mix the stuff back and forth for a minute. Now we're going to rinse it off with water. But now we're going to go rinse it off with water. Okay, but we're going to rinse it off with water, but we first need some AquaSafe. So we're going to go ahead and get the AquaSafe. So uh, let's do this. Okay, we're going to go get the AquaSafe. Let's go get it. So the AquaSafe is upstairs right now, and... Uh, Okay, so frogs out. Hello there. He's beautiful. Now guys, we have 
dumped half the water out of this tank because it will make it easier because we're actually going to be moving the breeding facility downstairs to the cobra tail guppies. Anyway, let's find... Oh, there it is. Look at this. Repti safe. Okay, let's go downstairs now. So I'll see you then. Okay, I'll see you guys once we make it downstairs. Okay, let's go downstairs now. Okay guys, so we made it downstairs, got the aqua safe. Now let's go. Okay. I'm gonna bring the aqua safe back now. Got the aqua safe! Okay guys, we're gonna go by the house. Oh, oh my god, look at that. That's a wild dog right there. You just found a wild wolf. Oh, oh no, he's chasing after us, guys. Oh, look at you. You happy dog? Are you a happy dog? So guys, yeah, if you don't know by now, um, if you're new to the channel, we're gonna be fair to everybody. This is my dog, Sparky. Welcome, Sparky, yeah, hello. He's my big German Shepherd boy. Sometimes I post some memes about him. He's a very good dog. Okay, we're gonna do the Repti safe now. Now Sparky likes the hose a lot. So we're gonna, hopefully he won't get it. Hit that like button and subscribe, right, Sparky? Yeah. So now we're just gonna mix it up. Mr. Sparky. Well, come here. Come here, big boy. <laughs> Look at this stuff, guys. It almost looks like tar of some sort, you know what I mean? It looks like that tar that animals get stuck in on the news and stuff. Look at that. It's awesome looking. What are you doing? We just picked the hair out of it, and uh, now we're gonna be okay, guys. How about when you're doing it? If you do do it outside, uh, you have to make sure to pick the leaves out and all the stuff like my dog hair. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you just have to make sure that it's you know all nice and clean, and then you can put it in your tank. So we're gonna go do that in a minute. But uh, yeah, we're gonna wrap up this video though. However, though the next video I'll be posting is that we're actually gonna be using this. Um, charcoal to make something very very interesting we're going to be making a tank for our crested gecko or possibly a day gecko i don't know guys what do you think do you comment down below do you think we're going to be getting a crested gecko or are we going to be rescuing a day gecko i don't know guys make sure to hit that button and subscribe if you think that you know see you guys on the next video i'm the gecko girl but that's it for today Anyway, um, gonna be out with my little dog, Sparky. Yeah, you're, you're a little dog. You're definitely a little dog. Guys, today, oh my God, I have to show you some pictures, but uh, we were at Petco and we saw the cutest, like it was a uh, a bulldog beagle mix puppy. It was so cute. Anyway, uh, for today's video, so girl, or for little dog, Sparky, peace.